All right, what's good? I want to talk about the um, final project options. You have three options. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, the synthesis uh, paper. So we want to go to assignments, and you want to scroll down under upcoming assignments right here. And you have three options, which are the final critical remix artist presentation, the final critical remix project, and the final synthesis paper. And so um, this is due at the end of week 10 or right before finals week. Um, by the end of week five, you're going to have to submit a one to two paragraph um, proposal for this as a PDF file. That's worth 10% of the grade on the project. Um, and also you will, um, <clears throat> on, after that week, uh, week six through 10, we'll start working in teams, workshop teams to start building your, your ideas. So you may be in a team with a couple other people who are writing a synthesis paper. You may um, be on a team with or pe people doing uh, art projects or a presentation, it doesn't matter. So what is synthesis? Um, I think the basic way to think about this is like uh, synthesis is, you know, um, you have your perspective on the world. That's your thesis, right? It's your perspective. And it's when your thesis or the way you think about something or the world is met with something that's antithetical to it, the opposite or another way of thinking, um, you know, and you, you bring those two things together and you debate or you, you know, um, you analyze or whatever it is, on the other end of that is what synthesis is. That's the fusion of you meeting some ch ideas that challenges your way, way of thinking, maybe. Um, and so I'm interested in that. Um, you know, sometimes with synth synthesis is, is if you're met with, like, a contrasting viewpoint to yours you know, and you debate it and you analyze it, um, you may not leave changed, meaning you may not, your position may not change, but even sometimes debating the opposite of the way that you feel will actually give you a new way of thinking about how you feel or how other people who feel the opposite way, why they feel that way. So that can also be an element synthesis so this is basically like a beefed up what did I learn in this class um, paper but it, you know it needs to be a little bit stronger um, that than that so basically what I want you to do is think about a topic from the class um, you know and think about what you're you're interested in you know so um, maybe you are pre-med major and you're interested in in the idea of patenting vaccines or patenting medical procedures um, or patenting you know food maybe you're you know what, whatever maybe you grew up on a farm or whatever um, and you're interested in seed patents maybe you know you um, want to be a screenwriter or you want to go into advertising advertising or you you make you know you make electronic you know beats or, or you know uh, lo-fi or study and chill beats, you know, and you want to look more at sample digital sampling and music. So think about something that you're interested in, thinking a, a topic from the class, you know, of, of anything, you know, really, and apply it. So basically, um, you know, this is kind of like a reflective um, essay that you write. Um, and it also is important to mention, like, your positionality coming into this class, like, because my whole idea is like with this class, you're probably presented with a bunch of new information and new new ways of thinking about creativity, new ways of thinking about originality and new ways of thinking about um, ideas, I, I hope. Um, you know, so it's important to know kind of where you come from and all that. So you can use first person in this, whatever. But the thing is, is you want to choose a topic, okay? Um, it doesn't really require you to do a lot of external research, like a research paper. You just want to use materials from the class. But if you need to go outside of the class and, you know, go to the library or go online or something like that, you certainly can do that. But it doesn't require you to do that. So what you need to include in this paper. So first you need to pick a topic. Um, and you don't want the topic to be vague like patent. <laughs> it should be, um, you know, patent and life or it should be patent and medical procedures or it should be something like that i realize i didn't talk about that a lot um but that should be kind of where you start your focus and then you can move on to these things which are you know i want you to quote um you know some 
quotes from our readings in class, uh, Vedaya Nathan, Boyer, Lessig, Lee Beter, McLeod, any of those. Um, some relevant cases um, from class or stuff you found on your own. Um, two relevant acts or laws, this could be the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, uh, the 1909 Copyright, Copyright Act or whatever. A couple relevant films or clips or videos or anything we watched from class. Um, just think about what this all means. Um, and then obviously you'll need a, a bibliography or reference page. So this is a five to seven page paper. Um, you need to use 12 point font and in a font like Times or New, you know, uh, Times New Roman or Helvetica or something normal, double spaced, black ink, and you will submit as a, a PDF. Um, make sure you edit it, um, you know, and have friends maybe read it. Um, make sure you use paragraphs. Oh my gosh. A paragraph is a three to five sentence thought. Um, you know, it shouldn't be a page. It should be, you should have two to four paragraphs per page. Um, if you start writing a paragraph and it starts to get to a half a page, you need to find where, you know, because it should represent a thought. And so if you start to get to half a page, you should look within that paragraph. Where can you make a break? Where is there a... a intellectual break or topical break there and press enter and tab no page long paragraphs gosh um okay so i basically want you to kind of like tell me what you learned this term in respect to something you're interested in okay um so again at the end of week five you'll have a short proposal due as a pdf this is worth 40 um, percent of your grade um you know but i just don't want a summary of the class i want you to kind of like bring this back to your own interests and, anal and analyze in, in, in the class, okay? So you hand in a, um, a five to seven page paper uh, as a PDF file. Do not go under five pages and not over seven pages in the um, bibliography or reference page, um, you know, doesn't count as a page. Um, how you'll be graded, basically what you say and how you say it. So. How do you put this all together? Your paper should have like an intro, the meat and potatoes, and then and then some sort of conclusion where you say why this is important um, or why this is meaningful or why this knowledge is valuable or whatever. Uh, your grammar, obviously, um, do you use paragraphs? Do you check your spelling? Do you use it's and it's and there and there, there, right? You know, all that stuff. Um, do you provide, you know, thoughtful analysis? Um, and then overall presentation, like, do you use paragraphs? Do you, did you follow the instructions? Um, da, 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 you know, um, and then, uh, including required elements. So did you do the references and the, you know, citation page? Um, did you follow the instructions, include the, you know, the elements? And then after week five, you'll be put into teams, workshop teams, um, and um, what you'll bring to, you know, you want to have, obviously, for the first meeting is a proposal and basic idea and outline. Again, you're not bound to this um, at all. And I, th I, um, you can always look ahead to, to some of the um, modules, at least the topics, um, to see what the topic is going to be. So you have an idea of what we're going to be um, doing at some point in this class. Um, so anyways, back to the um, scaffolding for success in the group workshops um, is that basically, you know, bring, um, have a basic proposal or an outline. If you're really feeling serious, you should have an outline at some point. Um, in week six, you'll meet in your group and get to know, you know, you introduce your idea, maybe get to know one another a little bit. Um, the next week, week seven, you should have an actual outline um, put, put together um, by week eight, you should have um, an introduction and conclusion written and maybe some bullet points and some more meat and potatoes there. Um, week nine, you want to have a rough draft. Uh, week 10, you want to have a final rough draft that you present to, um, to the group. So, you know, again, y'all will be in workshop, uh, team workshops, and um, y'all will decide how y'all want to meet each week, and that will be up to you. You'll also be able to discreetly, at the end of the term, grade each other's performance. So if um, Lumpy Larry never showed up um, to the group workshops, you know, everybody give Lumpy Larry an F. 
Um, if Susie Q killed it, smashed it, you know, in every workshop, give Susie um, an A, you know, whatever it is. Um, um, you know, if Jumpin' Johnny came to a couple of them and, you know, never participated, maybe Jumpin' Johnny gets a C, you know, what, whatever it is, just so I know what's going on. But this group work is up to you. You're not bound to the idea you present um, and the proposal as well. So this is the rubric um, that I go through. You can read how you get an A or how you get an F <laughs> in this class. And this is the rubric I'll be actually grading with. So here you go. This is the final synthesis paper. It's one of the three options. All three options are worth 40% of your final grade. Um, they are all due um, on the Sunday before finals week. Um, and your proposals for all projects are due um, at the end of week five. All right. Good luck, and I will catch you on the flip.